What's going on guys? Crypto Renegade here again with another video for you. So in today's video, what I wanted to go over here is a Trezor Suite review. Just to give you a quick recap, in case you didn't know or you're not a frequent Trezor user, recently Trezor was having tons of issues with scammers impersonating their web application for their URLs and their website and their servers and a lot of people were actually using it thinking it was the real treasure and ended up getting scammed out of all their coins. So they've made the change to use a desktop app now instead of a web application because it's safer uh, much like Ledger Live did with Ledger. So they're doing something similar. So in this video, I wanna give you kind of a quick overview, review slash tutorial of what I found and kind of how it works. So stay tuned, you are not gonna to wanna to miss this. All right guys, welcome back. So we're gonna jump right into this. As you can see on my screen, this is the Trezor Suite desktop app. So I'm running a Mac OS. I believe it also comes for Linux and Windows as well. So again, this is gonna be very similar to the Ledger Live app. Uh, that you can use for desktop for your Ledger Nano S and your Ledger Nano X. The one caveat here I'm gonna say is this is still technically in beta, but it works. So you wanna be aware that basically the way that this works, and I'll kind of walk you through it right here, on the web app when you first open it, uh, before it has you update or download anything, it just says connect and unlock your Trezor. In my case, I'm using a Trezor One device that I've had for several years. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in now. And what it's gonna do is it's bootloading right now. And then it, as you can see on the screen here, it's going to ask me to enter in my pin that I see on my device. So I'll go ahead and enter that in. All right, and it's validating, checking balances. And basically what you'll see right here is the wallet says it's ready to use. It's very simple. It says my name, Trezor One, and you can click your accounts. The little green dot basically just shows that it's connected. You have an option here with the little eyeball so that you can block or blur out your balances. Uh, so in this case, this is just an old Trezor One device, so I don't have anything on it, but you can choose to blur your balances for security reasons. Um, it gives you a little kind of bell notification to give you any notifications or updates. And then you click the gear icon and it's settings. You can choose your language, you can choose your fiat, you can choose to, uh, to label your accounts if you want to. Shows you any uh, usage data, app storage, you can reset the app, and then you can also check for updates. Uh, for the web app, I'm already updated before I film this, so it's good to go there. Uh, it has the device information, so it has a backup. You can also check your backup and perform a simulated recovery seed check to make sure that your recovery seed is good. Uh, firmware version, if you needed an update, you could click here. The pin, here you can change your pin. You can create an optional passphrase with a hidden wallet if you want to, and then you can rename your device. So I'm gonna go ahead and rename this Crypto Renegade and then go ahead and edit that name. And it's going to ask me to confirm this on my device and I click the button for confirm and we're good to go. So your device basically serves as like a 2FA device. And then home screen, you can choose from your gallery, uh, just kind of with the Trezor one, just gives you sort of the black and white pixelated options that you have. Uh, currently on mine, I have the Honey Badger right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. And then if you wanna erase it or wipe the device, you can go ahead and do that here in red. So this is sort of the basic settings of the device. If you click in the top left, now my device is named Crypto Renegade. I can add multiple wallets if I want to. Click back there. I can add multiple wallets, and all I have to do is just confirm this on my screen. I actually clicked Cancel on my screen and right now basically what's happening is it says my wallet's ready to use. Uh, the only coins that I've added right here are Bitcoin or Ethereum, but if I wanna add new coins, all I have to do is just click this plus for enable coins. And then I can choose to toggle on Litecoin, uh, ETC, Ethereum Classic, XRP, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Gold, Dash, Digibyte, Doge, Namecoin, Vertcoin, Zcash. All I have to do is simply just toggle them on. If I want the coin, Doge, Digibyte, Bcash, 
And then you can also do uh, test net coins, which is nice. So if you want to do some various, um, you know, Bitcoin test transactions or Ethereum tr test transactions or even SRP transactions, you can as well. Uh, XRP is not supported on the Trezor One device, but it will have a lot more native coins that you can enable here when you're using the Trezor Model T. So just keep that in mind. You can either enable all coins at once or disable all coins at once and you're good to go. You can go to your dashboard again here. It'll have your balance on a portfolio. If you have, you know, showing your balances and what coins that you currently have. And for the security here, it also allows you and it's gonna load up all the coins here that I just toggled on on my dashboard. So basically gives me an option to enable a passphrase and I can set up any of the other security features. And then of course it links in Trezor News as well. Um, this is pretty straightforward. It's not as in depth. I'm gonna do a review video soon for Trezor Suite versus the Ledger Live. It's not necessarily at this point a fair comparison because Ledger Live is, is been live for you know years now and it's been out of beta for a while this one's still in beta so they're kind of new to it but they uh they're doing a pretty good job with the interface making it uh, very easy very clean i'm not having any kind of issues you can obviously send and receive uh, and then trade is going to be implemented via api coming soon so you can trade on your hardware wallet as well and then you can search different coins. And as you can see, I just added these wallets in here and uh, they all have obviously zero balances at this point. But if I wanted to receive, I could just click show full address. It gives me a QR code so that if I wanna use my smartphone and deposit money of Bitcoin into this address as well, I can go ahead and do that. And then I look at my Trezor One device on the screen and to make sure that this uh, address matches and it does so I can either confirm it or not. I just click confirm on my device and so I can go ahead and send and receive there as well. Same thing goes here if you wanna receive on Ethereum, you show the 0x address, you review it on the device as it should, fantastic. Okay, so this is pretty straightforward and pretty clean. It's a huge upgrade over the current, over the current or previous web app that they were using which was very glitchy. Uh, and obviously had a lot of problems, which is why they switched over to this. So uh, this is very interesting. I'm interested to see what they have coming soon with the trade feature. They already have this in Ledger Live. So this is sort of copying the same sort of thing they had. And then you can send, uh, interface is clean. I just put the address or I can scan a QR code and it's gonna ask me, I don't wanna allow if I wanna have it access my camera. Um, and then you can choose to send max. You could choose the dollar amount. Uh, broadca broadcast on or off, this is a nice toggle, so it's either connected to the internet or not. Uh, and then you can, for Ethereum transactions, you can customize your fee if you want to, and it gives you the total. And then if you want to review and send, it'll have you confirm that on the device. So that's going to be it right here. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up for you. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and leave them down below in the comments. And I am going to be doing a video very shortly here on the comparison between this and Ledger Live kind of in depth, but just wanted to give you sort of a quick walkthrough and overview of the new Trezor suite and sort of the features that come with it. So if you own a Trezor device, this is actually very good for you because it's gonna be a lot more clean and a lot more secure in terms of sending and receiving and managing your crypto. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up here. Uh, go ahead and click in the top right corner here. I'm gonna go ahead and link you to a video that I recently did on crypto regulators and what the regulators are trying to do and stifle the crypto innovations by requiring you to KYC and notify them when you withdraw money into your own hardware wallet or software wallet which I really hope for our sake that that doesn't happen. So click in the top right and go ahead and click on that video now. Crypto Renegade out.